easy through steps in mastering passive voice. Why do we need to know or why do we need to learn this? To be fluent in both speaking and writing. If we are talking about reporting speech. When the object is the focus of the sentence. When the subject is unknown. And passive voice is commonly used in scientific writing and speaking. There are two types of passive voice based on tenses. They are number one for all non-continuous tense the rule is to be plus verb three and the second for all continuous tense the rule for passive voice is to be being verb three let's discuss this one by one active to passive for all non-continuous tense the rule for active is subject plus verb plus object then if we convert this into passive we will have subject plus to be verb 3 plus by object by object is in bracket it means it is optional here we have subject inactive becomes object in passive while object inactive becomes subject in passive and the main focus here the verb must be changed or converted to be to be verb 3 so it means just bear in mind that for all non-continuous tense the passive formula is to be verb 3 for example the police arrested the murders active the murders were arrested by the police passive here the murders become the subject arrested becomes were arrested by following our rule and we'll be talking how we change this in the next slide by following the steps the police the subject becomes the object okay in order to be clearer with this let's follow the three easy steps in mastering passive voice the first step is you have to understand to be in english and no need to be worried they are is mr for simple present was where for simple past b for simple and past future been for present and past perfect the second step is we have to understand the form of verbs for all non-continuous tense in which if it is verb 1 it means that is simple present tense verb 2 simple past will sell can plus infinitive it means simple future would should could infinitive past future and last but not least have has verb 3 present perfect had verb 3 past perfect and this is the third step we have to know the formula for all non-continuous tense as it was shown in the previous video the formula is to be verb 3 then it is easy now because we now are able to convert all the non-continuous tense into passive 
and they are if the verb is verb 1 then we just change it into is am are verb 3 verb 2 was where verb 3 will shall infinitive will shall be verb 3 would should infinitive would should be verb 3 have has verb 3 have has been verb 3 had verb 3 becomes had been verb 3 let's have examples to apply these rules number one hurry ate six shrimps at dinner so you just focus to the verb inactive the verb is eight it means that is verb 2 so if we change that into passive remember to be verb for simple past is was and were therefore here we have were eaten why do we use were because six rims the object in active becomes the subject and this is plural Therefore, we have where instead of was. And Harry becomes the object. So, the passive form for Harry ate six rims at dinner is six rims were eaten by Harry at dinner. Second example Beautiful giraffes roam the savanna. Then, the room is a verb one. Therefore, is MR verb 3 because the savanna is singular, then we have to be is. Beautiful giraffes become the object. Example number 3. Sue changed the flat tire. Active. The flat tire was changed by Sue. Changed verb 2. The four we have was or were in this case because the subject is the flat tire singular therefore we have was so becomes the object example number four I ran the obstacle course in record time ran verb two therefore we have was run the obstacle course in active becomes the subject in passive I the subject becomes object in passive number five the crew paved the entire stretch of highway paved once again this is verb 2 so was paved the object becomes the subject and the subject becomes the object again we have number six. Mom has read the novel for one day. Has read present perfect and to be for that is been, therefore has been read. The novel becomes the object becomes the subject. Mom subject becomes the object. I will clean the house every Saturday. We'll clean future tense. Remember B so it means will clean becomes will be cleaned the house become becomes the subject i becomes the object now we continue to the second type of passive form dealing with tense and here is for all continuous tense the main rule for active sentence for all continuous tenses is subject plus to be plus verb in plus object then if we convert the sentence for passive form then we have subject becomes the object object becomes the subject and pay attention to this one 
to be verb ing becomes to be being verb three. Once again, because this is our main focus, changing active into passive. So, for all continuous tense active, the rule is to be verb ing, and if we convert or change this into passive, then we have to be being verb three. Let's follow the three steps to understand this. But before that, let's take a look at this example. The police was arresting the murderers. Was arresting, that is past continuous. If we change that active into passive sentence, we have the murderers were being arrested by the police. By following our explanation, in the previous slide, then here we have the murderers become the subject from active to passive was arresting to be being verb 3 because this is past continuous then it becomes were being arrested the police subject becomes the object in passive form first step we have to understand the form of to be for each tense. So, is MR, that is for simple present, was where,
Here we have two objects inactive. They are us and English. So it means we will have two types of passive for this active sentence. And the first one is will be teaching becomes will be being taught. Mr. Manulang becomes, I mean, us becomes the subject because us that is pronoun as object and the pronoun as subject is we it becomes we will be taught english by mr manulang next week that is the first changing and the second if english becomes the subject then here we have english will be being taught to us by mr manulang next week Note, here is the third form of passive voice. This is for all verbs which are followed by two infinitive. For example, agree, ask, attempt, decide, plan, and so on. Because there are some of these. If we want to make passive voice of these verbs then the formula is to be verb 3 no need to be confused here to be here is not changed to be anything else for example the house needs to be cleaned so to be verb 3 means to be we directly use those these two words to and be in other words we don't change it into for example is am are was were be and been next example they agreed to be involved in the project the museum is being planned to be rebuilt next year so once again to be verb 3 for all the verbs which are followed by two infinitive. Okay, now we come to the conclusion. Conclusion number one for all non continuous tense, the rule for passive voice is to be verb three. Just remember the form of the verbs in active, then remember the form of to be for passive voice for example if the verb is verb 1 then it is simple present so to be for simple present is is mr just make it acceptable the form of the subject whether it is plural or singular then the second is for all continuous tense the rule is to be being verb 3 to be once again we have is am are for present was were for past be for future and been for perfect tense and finally for all the verbs which are followed by verb by two infinitive if you want to make passive voice or passive sentence for these verbs then the rule is to be verb 3 to be here is not change it to be anything else okay we all know only practice makes us perfect just pause the video and try to answer these exercises Number one has been done for you. Now continue to number two 
and until number 10. Finally, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for next video's notification. Thank you for watching. Gracias. Arigato. Sese. Terima kasih. Mau lihat. Buzur. Yahoo.